Oh, wait. Let's do it again. Made it. Finally. On our way to Indianapolis, Indiana. We're in Indiana. And in Indiana, your roads, so you know that. Do better. Even though your roads beat the freaking axles out of my vehicle, we're here. Lucas Oil, Indianapolis Raceway. We're here. Well, all five punched, we made it. We're done. Peace out. Ah, on the way home, stopped in Richmond at a peddler's mall. Yeah, that's it. Smell some antifreeze. Come out of the old truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Well, over 1,200 miles later, we're headed to the house. We decided to stop her at this place. So they're pulling out a smell in the freeze. I said, hmm, what the crap. Anyway, Indiana beat the crap out of these vehicles, all of them that rode that interstate there. I think I'm just now feeling the effects of it. Well, we only got. 300 some more miles to go, or 222 miles, three and a half hours to get home. It's Saturday. The saga continues, even though we're done with the power tour. <laughs> oh, golly. Oh. Back, Jack. Back to Tennessee. 1416 miles. Back to the driveway. <sighs> Couple casualties. Radiator started leaking about, eh, I don't know, somewhere Kentucky. Richmond, Kentucky. So I uh, told the wife, I said, well, I don't know. We pulled into some antique store. She's like, I'm going to go here and look. Pulled in, I smelled antifreeze. I said, Indianapolis, Indiana's got me. So I did the right thing and just drove on to the house with it leaking. And the other casualty, Indianapolis got my daggone center cap. Son. Hey, freaking roads up there rougher than a night in jail. Tell you what, Indianapolis, I tell you what, I tell you what, I, here's what I tell you. I hope you get hemorrhoids in your butt. And then I hope the hemorrhoids in your butt Get herpes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I like that.